Welcome to a video on estimating, multiplying, and dividing problems using whole numbers. The goal is to estimate products and quotients of whole numbers by rounding. So let's go ahead and do a quick review on how we round whole numbers. The first thing we do is identify the round off place digit. So for these two examples, notice we want to round to the hundreds. So in both cases, the seven is in the hundreds place value. Next, the digit to the right of the round off place value tells us whether to round up or round down. So for this first number, the three tells us to round up or down. And the second example, the six tells us to round up or down. If the digit to the right is less than five, we do not change the round off place digit. If it's more than five, we increase the round off place digit by one. And then we replace all digits to the right of the round off place digit with zeros. So for this first example, this three tells us to round down. So we leave this as a seven and replace the three and the nine with zeros. This would be 3,700 rounded to the nearest hundreds. The second example, the six tells us to round up. So we do increase the seven by one. So we'd have 3,800. Let's go and take a look at our examples. We want to estimate this product by rounding to the nearest tens. So the four is in the tens and the one is in the tens. Notice the digit to the right in both cases is eight, which tells us to round up. So we'll round 348 to 350. And we'll round 18 to 20. And we'll use this product to estimate the original product. So remember, we'll first multiply by zero, which of course would be zero. And now we're gonna multiply by two. And since this first digit to the right is already zero, we can multiply by two and just put the digits right here in the same row. So two times zero would be zero. Two times five would be 10. So we write a zero down and carry a one. Two times three is six plus one. So we have an estimation of 7,000 for the original product. Now we should make a note that we did round both of these numbers up, so this estimation would be larger than the original product. Let's take a look at another example. Here we want to round to the nearest thousands to approximate this product. So we have a four in the thousands here and a six in the thousands here. The digit to the right here would be three, which means we're gonna round this number down. And then here we have an eight, so we'll round this one up. So we'll round this to 14,000. We'll round this to 7,000. And now we'll start to multiply. Notice the first three digits here on the right would be zero. So we'll have three zeros in our product. And now we'll just multiply by seven. Seven times zero would be zero. Seven times zero is zero. Seven times zero is zero. Seven times four would be 28. Write down the eight and carry the two. Seven times one is seven plus two, that would be nine. So our estimation is 98 million. And notice how this was a lot less work than trying to find the original product. So if we don't have to be precise, this is a great way to estimate a product. Let's take a look at a couple division problems now. Here we want to round to the tens to approximate this quotient. So we have a one in the tens here and a two in the tens here. The six here tells us to round up. This two here tells us to round down. So we're gonna round this to 820. Here we're rounding down, so we'll round this to 20. And now we'll divide. Remember we asked how many 20s are there in eight? Well, eight isn't big enough, so we include the next digit. How many 20s in 82? That would be four. Four times 20 would be 80. Remember we subtract here. 82 minus 80 would be two. Bring down the next digit, which is a zero. How many 20s in 20? That would be one. One times 20 is 20. We have a remainder of zero. So we can say that the original quotient will be approximately 41. Let's go ahead and try another division problem. Here we'll round to the hundred thousands. So for this first number, the three is in the hundred thousands. And notice that 
on the second number, there isn't a digit in the hundred thousands, but if there was one, it would be right here. So now we'll use a digit to the right to determine whether to round up or round down. So the seven tells us to round up. So we'll round this to seven million four hundred thousand. This eight tells us to round up. So there really is a zero here, so we'll increase it to one. So this rounds to 100,000. So we're going to have to include enough digits in our dividend so that there's at least 100,000. So we'll have to go all the way over to 740,000. How many hundred thousands are there in 740,000s? That would be seven. Seven times 100,000 would be 700,000. So we subtract, that would be 40,000. Now we bring down the last digit to make this 400,000. How many hundred thousands are in 400,000? That would be four. Four times 100,000 is 400,000. Remainder of zero. So this quotient is approximately equal to 74. Let's take a look at our word problem. Let's say you decide to purchase 18 CFL light bulbs to save energy used to light your home. If each bulb costs $1.89, approximately how much will this cost? Notice it doesn't tell us where to round, so let's go ahead and just devise our own plan. And this might be something you do when you go to the store. Let's go ahead and round the cost to the nearest dollar. So this eight here tells us to round up, so we're gonna round the cost to $2 per bulb. So if we purchase 18 bulbs at roughly two dollars, so multiply 18 by two, well two times eight is 16, carry the one, two times one is two plus one, that's three. So the cost would be approximately $36 if we purchase 18 CFL light bulbs. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching.